Wow. Look at this. What a gorgeous atmosphere to have the ocean right behind us and um, amazing works of art. These cars are, you know, they're just, there aren't that many of them left in the world. So it's really fun to be here to see some of them. And um, I'm sure I'm going to run into Jay Leno in a little bit. I want to see what his his old car looks like. Oh, you know, yeah, the hand <laughs> thing is not really, I don't agree with the crazy the hand anymore. If I could write a song that would um, pay for me to own one of these cars, <laughs> that would be the end all goal. <laughs> it makes a really bad part of you come out, like an, an ugly monster raises its head, like, oh, if I could only own one of those. It's, it's funny, I always think that, you know, fast cars kind of go along with rock and roll, and um, ever since I was a kid, I've owned uh, kind of American muscle cars, American made muscle cars. When I was 16, I bought my first car for $3,500, and it was a 1978 Camaro. Nobody told me that I was supposed to check the oil, let alone change the oil. And so I don't know how long I owned it, maybe a year and a half before I had to buy a new short block. That's when I started learning about motors. <laughs> Quickly thereafter, I changed my own oil. And since then, I've owned you know Chevy Malibus and the Charger. Anyway, I've, I've owned many, many uh, muscle cars, American-made muscle cars. So, you know, it kind of goes along with, the, with the, the rock and roll theme, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Ms. Cheryl Crow. 100% of the proceeds go to the charity. It was the car that I always wanted to own. I have a lot of great memories in the car. It was completely restored when I when I got the car, so I didn't I had to do very little to it, and it's just an amazing work of art. Um, the late 50s, early 60s, that those years of cars are, are, I think, really, truly works of art, and the German cars in particular. I have two little boys now, and I don't drive the car very often, and when Joplin was hit, it just occurred to me that that car could be doing a lot of great work and being loved by somebody and enjoyed by somebody, so we brought it up here with Goody and Company, and hopefully somebody's gonna bid on it. And I used to be a school teacher, so they, they had about $150 million worth of damage, and they lost 10 schools there, so, you know, any little bit of help that the car can bring, whether it's buying computers or musical instruments or whatever for, for the school systems there, that's what we want to be a part of.